Okay, so one time exclusive, inclusive, all inclusive, exclusive, um, I might buy another saxophone. Oops. <laughs> um, so I was in here filming, I think it was a unique saxes video or something like that, um, and I tried a vintage sax and I loved it. So I've kind of been thinking about that ever since, and it's a really big deal. It's not just like changing car or something. You're like, ooh, it smells nice and clean in here now. It's, you know, this is, I've been with this sax for like 20 years, um, and we've been through a lot together. It's completely custom. This is my horn, which is a Selma Series 2. I've got a silver neck joint here. Um, I'm on my Rosso Studio Jazz mouthpiece. I've got a Leger reed on there, Vanderen Optimum ligature. Um, and I've really found my setup, you know, in 20 years of playing. It's a decade of being a professional sax player, and um, I've, I've found my way with this guy. We've been through a lot. Uh, we've done Wembley together. We've played O2. Awesome. Uh, um, that's my horn. That's that's my buddy. I, I almost, this feels like treachery. It almost feels like like adultery. Okay, so here's the moment of truth. Is um, a beautiful balanced action we've got over here, Selma. So this is the moment where, without having played them, this is the first time I've filmed, uh, I'm gonna see the two, and I'd love to hear your opinion on whether I should spend 4,000 pounds on this guy, because I won't be selling mine as well. So it, it would be to keep uh, both. So is it worth it, is the question. So the super balanced action. What have you got to say for yourself, mister? This might just take a second to blow in um, because I've moved my neck joint, I, my mouthpiece around and stuff. So it feels very, very different. It feels very small and all the keys are in different places. Um, it doesn't have an S sharp key, so it'll just take me a second to get used to it. <laughs> okay, so I'll do a little bit, feels lovely so far. Uh, I'll do a little bit of the same tune so we can flip back and see. sharp key it does I do feel a loss so I'm having to use the B flat key which isn't as easy to use but it feels lovely <laughs> interested to hear your opinion. Can you hear the difference between the two? Do you think it's a worthy investment? Do you think it's going to bring me joy in my life? Or do you think I'm just going to be £4,000 poorer? Let me know your thoughts. Um, interesting video in terms of the difference between Selma's as it is. So you should also check out my video on the Mark VI. I've got a comparison of two different Mark VI's and how they can vary so much, especially any kind of vintage secondhand saxophone such as this. So if you think this sounds beautiful and sounds all that different, don't rush out and go buy a super balanced action because you're like, oh, well, Ches played it in that video. It must be good because this one is good. They're all very different when they're vintage. Um, so do check out our Mark VI video. Um, it should have been above my head now. And uh, let me know what you think of the difference between the Super Balance action and my Selma Series 2. 
Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in another video soon. So I am serious about this subscribing thing. Hit that button. Do it. Do it or I'll drop some tags. I will. I will. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll... <gasps>